Well, we are learning more tonight about a problem that caused concern about the stability of the ground in part of River Rouge over the weekend. A soil failure at a storage yard on Pleasant Street raised questions about gas lines and the safety of the ground under the road and a railway. Turns out this could be indirectly tied to the buckling road that destroyed the stash marijuana dispensary back in September. It happened just a few miles away in southwest Detroit. 7 Action News reporter Kim Russell explains the connection. You can see where the curb is supposed to be here on Pleasant Street if you look behind me. But take a look next to me. You can see how the soil has buckled up, moving concrete. It's all because of what's happening at this industrial storage facility. DT Energy responded to this storage lot on Pleasant Street in River Rouge to investigate a soil failure, concerned it could impact the integrity of its natural gas system. It turned off natural gas to some industrial customers for safety. It is very Concerning, very concerning. Kimiana Hines lives in a neighborhood yards away from the lot that is buckling. She's concerned about the shifting soil impacting her property or the railroad that runs right in between the bulk lot and her home. Chances of derailment, I do not want to happen. As for what caused this, a spokesperson for Fort Iron and Metal Scrapyard in Detroit says it paid to store recycled metal here at an independent bulk storage lot and has been moving the material after learning about the buckling. Fort Iron, by the way, is the company that was across from Stash Dispensary in Detroit, which was destroyed by a sudden soil shift in September. City of Detroit COO Hakeem Barry tells us the city just completed its investigation into what caused the ground to buckle in September at Dearborn and Fort. From the uh, the, the scrapyard business uh, next door to it, uh, there was a pile of bulk material that was uh, too heavy for the ground to sustain. Barry says climate change brought more rain, which changed how much weight the ground can handle. The business was in compliance. Our ordinances do not require uh, weight as a factor. So these are some things that we're updating in our ordinances because this is starting to happen as the earth is starting to change. Back out here in River Rouge, neighbors want to know if their ordinances are strong enough. Hopefully something will be done about it soon. River Rouge City staff tell me they are looking into what they need to change to make sure that this doesn't happen again. If they need ordinances or enforcement, they're looking into it. In River Rouge, Kim Russell, 7 Action News. And we'll continue to follow it. Thank you so much, Kim, for that report.